What is the new internet gold rush? Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to All Affiliate Cash. Just what is the new internet gold rush? This is a curious question. We saw the early explosion of the internet with dot-com boom and startup companies being thrown millions of dollars from venture capitalists hoping for that one in a million breakthrough that ended up as Google, Facebook, or some other social media giant. We saw the acquisitions of WhatsApp and Instagram simply for their list of subscribers at incredibly large purchase prices seen as overvalued by some and undervalued by others. The startups mostly came and went, and many services grew up in the Silicon Valley to support them with flexible office space and instant data centers. But this gold rush has passed. The dot-com boom has busted. Does this mean the internet as a business is dead? Quite the opposite. Sure, there are people out there still going after venture capital to start up their business with their next great idea, and a few of these will work, but this is not what most people see as a viable way to make money online. The internet has turned into the shopping mall and business center for the world, and that's been a great thing. The current internet gold rush is internet marketing. Wow, really? Yes, indeed. How do I know this? More than 80% of all brands are using affiliate marketing to sell their products. They are paying you a commission to make their online sales successful and not spending that money on their own internal marketing departments. Your favorite brands from the smallest to the largest are using affiliates to advertise their products and paying commissions. This is huge and is still growing every day. But the main point of this video is to break out why this is the new gold rush, so we'll get back to that topic now. If you remember your history, the early gold rush days when tens of thousands of miners came from all walks of life and all parts of the world to the gold fields of the western U.S., Canada, and Alaska, it was all because a few people had struck it rich and the news got out. The wannabes flocked to the gold fields by the tens of thousands. Most didn't make any money, but some made it rich. Why? It wasn't just pure luck. It wasn't because some were early. It was because some people knew what they were doing. They knew where the gold could be found based on their study of the land. They understood how to capture the gold and that they needed to have the technology and tools to actually successfully extract the gold from whatever ground they found that contained this elusive treasure. Placer gold was different from hard rock mining. Washing gold out of a hillside with hydraulic pressure was different from panning it in a stream. Making money on the internet is no different. You need to have the tools and the training and do the research to find out where your customers are hanging out how to get your offer in front of them, how to warm them up to purchase, and then to keep them coming back over and over again to continue to buy from you. Your gold rush is still out here, but many of you are simply stumbling around with a gold pan and a shovel and not making any money. Why? Because you have not done your homework. You need to get the training, do the research, set up the tools you need in order to be successful. And yes, I offer a training class that will set you on your way to success. It's linked in the description, and those of you who follow me have heard me talk about it over and over again. Why? Because I believe this is the key to success. Now back to the gold rush days, there was one group of people who were guaranteed to make money while tens of thousands made nothing. If you think about it, you already know who that group of people were. They were the ones selling the picks and shovels, the gold pans, and the land leases. Today, these are the people selling training and tools to enable you to actually make money in online marketing. Are they scam artists? There are some. Just like the guys in the gold rush who sold worthless leases, 
There are people selling worthless training and even worse, selling training that will send you down the wrong path just so they can make a quick buck. How do you know which land lease to buy? Who has the right type of gold retrieval technology? You need to do your homework, your research. Initially, I struggled to get started with internet marketing and threw away money on Facebook ads to put them in front of people who didn't care about what I had to say or sell. Then I did the research. I finally found the training that works, and since I put it in place, I'm actually earning money and not just throwing it away. Part of the strategy for me is, of course, selling training. Why? Because I really can help you to make money in internet marketing, whether you decide to sell training, coaching, events, or physical goods as an affiliate or just in your own business. If you've been following my videos, you will have seen a few examples already where I've worked with people in other businesses trying to leverage the internet to grow their business. It works. And the course that I offer teaches you how to do this in great detail. Now, why again am I selling training and not selling other products? My end game is actually to sell products and services that help independent musicians make money from their music. This is currently in the research and development stage, and I will offer this as a complete package in the not too distant future. The techniques I've learned through the training I offer are setting the stage for me to become a very successful music promoter for independent artists. I will be breaking the paradigm that has driven the music industry for decades. So this is a business that will build up slowly over time. No get rich quick scheme. I won't be selling broken shovels. Because I so strongly believe in the make money online opportunity that the right training can support, I'm going to continue to offer this training forever with additional products to supplement it as necessary to keep you on the path to success. No bad land leases, no broken shovels, no dull picks, no fake gold pans. Just solid training that you can use to be successful. Now, what products should you sell, you ask? I have some advice there, but it starts with two questions. Are you in this just for additional income? Are you in this to support something you are truly passionate about? Why are these questions important? Well, let me break it down for you. As an affiliate, you have a couple of different options for selling products. Now I'm going to stick with the affiliate side of the business for now as the training, coaching, events, and your own product side is a whole different conversation. Let's just start with the affiliate equation and break that down. As an affiliate, you are going to market someone else's product or service, and when it sells, you will make a commission. You have low startup costs. You have a very low investment. In short, you are not vested in the process, except for in the way you see your future. Are you passionate about the product or is it just something to make a few extra bucks? Either way, that's okay, but you need to understand the differences. With minimal training, you will have minimal rewards, but you can still put in the effort and get there. Think about this, however. Affiliate marketing is a numbers game. If you market two products, with a 50% commission rate, one that sells for $20 and one that sells for $1,000, you don't need many sales of the high ticket item to make money. Affiliate marketing of low ticket items can work, but you need one or two things to make it so. You either need a very large, warm audience that wants what you are offering, or you need a long chain of emails that offer relevant products to everyone on your email list who opted in to receive them. Both of these techniques work. For example, Russell Brunson at ClickFunnels gives away a $30 hardcover book for the cost of shipping and builds up an email list with 250,000 or more people with a new book release. This is now a large list. He has paid real money to build by buying lots of ads. And of course, if he stopped there, he would simply be throwing away money. Then he offers things to this list that they want and a large number of them buy. Many of the products he offers are training, although there are also subscription products and other software as a service products that are of high value, and some are also of high cost. He's built a very successful business with this model, but it's because he's vested. 
he spends tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars to build up his lists with his free books. He's not making any money when you pay shipping and handling just for the hardcover book. He's losing, and he's losing a lot. He only makes money from the warmed-up customer, you, on his email list who are thrilled at the value you received from the book and are more than willing to keep spending money with him. Now, if you are willing to put in the effort and expense, there's no reason you cannot do the same as an affiliate. Offer a lead magnet that warms your customers up and then sell them through your mailing list. Make the lead magnet so attractive that they cannot help but love you for it and want to give you more money. If you are selling that $20 product through ClickBank that pays a 50% commission and simply spamming your link around social media, you will fail. No one will buy. No one will want to buy anything from you. Your emails will all go into their spam folders and your list will be worthless. This happens to a large number of affiliates who just jump in and try to make a quick buck. I don't want to see it happen to you. Now, I mentioned the high-ticket item that sells for $1,000 and you get a 50% commission. Sounds really attractive, right? You would need to sell 50 of those $20 items to make $500 in commissions, but only one of the $1,000 item to make the same amount. Sounds like it's much easier, right? No, not really. Though it takes a similar amount of effort to sell something for $20 as it does to sell someone on a $1,000 product or service, your credibility is at stake and your future business with that customer is at a much higher risk factor when they spend $1,000 on something that you are promoting. I can tell you that a $20 item is worth the money, less than a family meal at KFC, and you would be hard pressed to argue that fact. If I tell you that the $1,000 item will change your life and it's junk, you won't ever talk to me again, much less allow me to sell you something. So while it's roughly the same effort to go out and buy ads, post on social media, and warm up buyers for that $20 item, the real commitment is when you're passionate about the $1,000 item and that comes across to your prospects. The guy selling picks and shovels and real land leases wanted you to come back and buy more goods from him when yours wore out. He only sold top-of-the-line tools, and those land leases were real. You used your tools and training and made money, so when you needed a new shovel or another land lease, you came back to him and bought again. He made his fortune without ever putting a gold pan in a creek, but he wasn't a swindler or a scam artist. He was there to make sure you were successful and he did everything he could to help you. The guy who sold you the worthless land lease and the dull pick and broken shovel wasn't there when you dragged yourself back into town, broke and hungry. He made a quick buck and ultimately went back to St. Louis, where he was before the gold rush because he too ran out of money and customers as his reputation was soiled and he ran out of gullible people to buy his junk. Selling training sounds a lot like the guys selling shovels and land leases. In a way, it is. Those who sell training to those who want to make money online will have a constant stream of potential customers who are looking for their break, looking for a way to make money online. This will mean there are self-proclaimed gurus who have the very best training that you can ever possibly need, even though they have no track record and will be gone before you need another shovel. If you're going to sell training, you have to sell training that works. Selling tools that really assist your customer in their journey and providing information to help them along the way makes you both successful. As a seller, you will still be here when your customer needs to pivot because the products or services that they are currently offering no longer sell or the marketing value of TikTok shifts and the next social media platform takes over and requires a new strategy to be successful. Training that is evergreen with perpetual updates that are free and will stay current on trends and techniques to be successful is what you need. That's what we offer. The link is in the description. Sign up today and really truly have the opportunity to change your life. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and follow, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff.
so you know next time I'm going to post something. Life is good. <laughs>